Okay, in this video, we're going to look at this ARM Cortex M3 module, sometimes referred to as the Blue Pill. Now, it's a little bit bigger than Arduino Nano, but you get it for about the same price, around $4 online. Now, this module contains an STM32F103C8 microcontroller. It has 64 kbytes of flash and 20 kbytes of RAM, and you can clock it up to 72 megahertz. Now, now it runs on 3.3 volts, but there's an internal regulator, so you can power it up with 5 volts through the USB port or uh, through one of the pins. You can also power it up directly by 3.3 volts through one of the pins or into this connector here. Now, this module has a reset button and has two jumpers. It's a boot 0 and boot 1 jumper for uh, activating the bootloaders. Now, there's a couple of ways we could upload a hex file into this uh, microcontroller. We could use ST Link which uses these pins here. So we use the SWD, Serial Wire Debug, and we could upload a hex file into the microcontroller using that bootloader. Or we could use a serial bootloader, a serial flash bootloader, and we could upload a hex file through the USART-1 using an FTDI. And all the software needed to upload a hex file into this microcontroller is a free download online. Okay, here's my setup to program my Blue Pill module. And I'm using the ST-Link version 2 STM32 programming dongle, which you can see on the top. Now I got the dongle online. It was pretty inexpensive. I got it for under $5. And it came with four jumper cables, four female-to-female -female jumper cables, so you could, you could connect it up to the Blue Peel module. Now you plug the dongle into the USB port, and you run ST-Link software to gain access to the programmer to program the Blue Peel module. Now there's a 3.3 volt regulator on board the dongle, which will power up the Blue Peel module during programming. Now when you buy this, when you buy the dongle, it's going to come with a 10-pin connector, and you're only going to use four of the pins, four of the 10 pins, and they'll be on the bottom row when the notch is uh, facing up. So that's the connections there, and if you look closely, you can see we're going to use pins 2, 4, 6, and 8. So pin 2 is SW clock. Pin 4 is the SWD IO, that's your bidirectional data bus. Pin 6 is your ground, and pin 8 is the 3.3 volts that's feeding the Blue Pill module. Now on the, on the Blue Pill module, if you go to the very left, pin 1 is 3.3 volts. Pin 2 is SWD IO, that's the bidirectional bus. And pin 3 is the SW clock, and pin 4, the one on the very right, is the ground. So you just connect up those four wires to, your, uh, to the dongle, run ST-Link software, and you can program your Blue Pill module. Okay, if you go online and search for ST-Link download, this is what you will find. So here we could download a file called stsw-link004, and in that download will include the STM32 ST-Link utility software. Now by running this utility software on your computer, you can upload a, a hex file into the Blue Pill ARM microcontroller. Now if we scroll down, we can see there's a screenshot of the ST-Link utility. And if we scroll down even further, all the way down to the bottom, where it says Get Software, now we can download the STSW-Link004 software by selecting Get Software. And in this download will include the USB drivers that you have to run on your computer so you can run the ST-Link software. And that will be in the file STSW-Link009. So right now I have my STM32 dongle plugged into my computer. I have ST-Link up and running. So I'm ready to upload a hex file into my, into my Blue Pill ARM microcontroller. So if we go up to Target and hit Connect, now we're connected to the Blue Pill module. If you look down, we can see we're connected via SWD. So we're ST-linked into the Blue Pill module. So now I can go to Target and go down to Program and Verify. And there's the hex file I'm going to load into my uh, Blue Pill module. It's uh, McCrisp. It's a fourth operating system. So you can just hit your browse button and find where your hex file is on your computer. And then it will come up in this, in this uh, uh, text box. So we hit start. And you can see it's programming. And down at the bottom it says flash memory programmed. And the verification is OK. So now my fourth operating system is installed on my Blue Pill module. And now I just have to hit the reset button and the program will run. 
okay my blue pill module is programmed now with my fourth operating system and while I was programming it I didn't need to move the boot jumpers the two yellow jumpers they'd stay in the original position we don't need to move the jumpers when we're using SWD for programming so now I can disconnect the wires on my blue pill module I don't need them anymore and I can power up the blue pill module now with my USB port right here plug in my USB cable that will power it up so now I'm going to hook up an FTDI module, like this one here, and I'll get into USART 1. I'll get access into my fourth operating system, and I'll hook up an LED. And I'll test out my software. We'll test out if the software is running okay, my fourth operating system. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer, and it's connected to the serial port of the Blue Pill module, and I got my fourth operating system up and running. So if I hit enter on my keyboard, you see I get OK Echo back, so we're ready to send commands. So we could send some commands to blink the LED. And there's the LED blinking. If I hit any key, shut it off. I could turn on the LED. The LED is on. I could send a command to turn it off. Now I could send a little script. So we'll toggle the LED, then wait 500 milliseconds, and do that many times over and over again until I hit any key. So there's a very simple blink script till I hit any key and it just turns it off. Now we could send some ASCII codes to this terminal. Whenever we press a, a key on our keyboard we actually send an ASCII code. So if I send ASCII 65 that's a capital A. If I send ASCII 97 emit that will send it to the to the terminal. That's a that's a lowercase. If I send 07 emit that's a control that will actually beep or ring the bell, you can actually hear it. I'll do it again. So we could write a little program. So we'll start with colon. That starts the compiler. And that's the name of our program. It's called beep. And the code that will run is 07 emit. And that will take it out of compile mode into back into interpret mode. Now if I hit beep, if I type beep, I get a beep. And if I go beep, and then the delay, 500 milliseconds, and we do that five times. So that's just a little example of how we can do some simple programming using fourth on the ARM microcontroller.